Wi-Fi 0, 802.11. The first version of Wi-Fi appeared in 1997 under the IEEE 802.11 standard. It operated on the 2.4 GHz band and supported speeds of up to 2 megabits per second. At that time, it was mainly used for basic wireless data exchange between computers without cables. The speed and range were extremely limited, so it wasn't ideal for streaming or large file transfers. Still, Wi-Fi 0 laid the foundation for modern wireless communication, showing that data could travel through the air, a concept that would evolve rapidly in the years to come. Wi-Fi 1, 802.11b. Wi-Fi 1 was released in 1999 as the first widely adopted wireless networking standard. It continued using the 2.4 GHz band, but improved speeds up to 11 megabits per second. This made wireless connectivity practical for homes, schools, and small offices. However, because it shared the same frequency range as Bluetooth devices and microwave ovens, interference was a common problem. Despite its limitations, Wi-Fi 1 introduced the world to accessible and affordable wireless internet, changing how people connected laptops, printers, and routers within a few meters of each other. Wi-Fi 2, 802.11a, launched the same year as Wi-Fi 1, Wi-Fi 2 brought a new approach. It used the 5 GHz band instead of 2.4 GHz, which provided faster data rates, up to 54 megabits per second. The higher frequency reduced interference and made connections more stable, especially in busy environments. But the trade-off was shorter range, since 5 GHz signals struggled to pass through walls and solid objects. Because of this, Wi-Fi 2 was mainly used in offices and enterprise networks, rather than homes where coverage and range were more important than raw speed. Wi-Fi 3, 802.11g. Introduced in 2003, Wi-Fi 3 combined the strengths of earlier standards. It returned to the 2.4 GHz band, but achieved the same 54 megabit speed as Wi-Fi 2. This generation became extremely popular because it offered faster wireless performance while staying compatible with older Wi-Fi 1 devices. It was reliable, affordable, and perfect for home and small business networks. By the mid-2000s, Wi-Fi 3 routers were common everywhere, enabling smoother web browsing, faster downloads, and easier file sharing between PCs, printers, and early smartphones connected to the same network. Wi-Fi 4, 802.11n. Wi-Fi 4, released in 2009, marked a major breakthrough in wireless technology. It introduced dual-band support, meaning it could use both 2.4 and 5 GHz frequencies simultaneously. Speeds jumped dramatically, reaching up to 600 megabits per second. It also brought in MIMO, multiple input, multiple output, allowing several antennas to send and receive data at the same time. This improved range, reduced inter interference and made streaming HD videos or gaming online far more reliable. Wi-Fi 4 became the backbone of modern wireless routers and devices for nearly a decade. Wi-Fi 5, 802.11ac. Released in 2013, Wi-Fi 5 focused entirely on the 5 GHz band to maximize speed and stability. It could reach theoretical speeds up to 6.9 gigabits per second, a massive leap from earlier versions. This generation introduced MU MIMO, or multi-user MIMO, which allowed several devices to share bandwidth without slowing each other down. It was optimized for streaming, online gaming, and large data transfers making it ideal for smart homes and offices. Most modern routers, laptops, and smartphones launched between 2015 and 2020 were built around Wi-Fi 5, Wi-Fi 6, 802.11ax. Wi-Fi 6 introduced in 2020 improved how networks handle multiple devices. It used both 2.4 and 5 GHz bands and introduced OFDMA, which divides channels into smaller sub-channels to serve many users efficiently. It also reduced latency and added target wake time, a feature that helps devices save battery by scheduling when to connect. With speeds up to 9.6 gigabits per second, Wi-Fi 6 offered stronger performance in crowded areas like offices, airports, and apartments, where dozens of devices compete for bandwidth simultaneously. Wi-Fi 6E Wi-Fi 6E arrived in 2021 as an extension of Wi-Fi 6, bringing access to a brand new 6 gigahertz frequency band. This additional spectrum provided more bandwidth and less interference compared to the already crowded 2.4 and 5 
gigahertz bands. Wi-Fi 6E routers offered faster, more stable connections and were designed for high-density spaces such as large offices, stadiums, and public networks. It helped reduce congestion and latency, improving real-time performance for activities like 4K streaming, VR gaming, and video conferencing in busy environments. Wi-Fi 7 802.11BE Wi-Fi 7 represents the next generation of wireless networking. It builds on Wi-Fi 6E's foundation but adds cutting-edge features like 4K QAM, which increases data capacity, and multi-link operation, allowing devices to connect across multiple frequency bands simultaneously. This boosts both speed and reliability, with projected data rates exceeding 46 gigabits per second. Wi-Fi 7 will enable ultra-high definition streaming, cloud gaming, real-time virtual reality, and smart homes running dozens of connected devices without slowdown. My goal here is to help you understand how each Wi-Fi generation works. Tell me in the comments, which Wi-Fi are you using right now? Watch my video on internet speed. It'll make this even clearer. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel.